What's going on everybody? This is Chase Fan number 9 here. Welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to be taking a look at the paint schemes for Saturday and Sunday's races at Bristol Motor Speedway. Or should I say the Bristol Dirt Track because, well, it's that time. The weekend we've long anticipated is finally here. We get to see the Truck Series and Cup Series race on the dirt at Bristol for the first time. And based on what I saw in practice, it looks like, well, even though we didn't see a lot of spinouts, it's only a sign of what's to come. And yes, as of this recording, it is Saturday morning. It is officially 2.29 a.m. And um, practice wrapped up hours ago. And I did watch practice for both the cup and truck series um i got to see how the drivers run they have their own line around the track well every track we go to has always that groove that you run in but yeah still there were several spin outs we saw cole custer spin on his own and then we saw in trucks gr hefner wreck hard on the back stretch <sighs> So, yeah, that's pretty much it. But anyways, um, for this first video, however, we're going to start off with the Cup Series. Now, um, most of the paint schemes you're going to see are from Wednesday's iRacing event, so I might just skip through them. But, and, well, this video might be short, but there are several, well, there are a few schemes that I have seen yet, but I have yet to talk about, so... Without further ado, let's get to it. So first up, we got Quinn Half and the Double Zero Main and Tail Chevrolet Camaro. Don't see anything different except it says available at Target here. So I guess if I go to Target, I might find Main and Tail in the um in the um what do you call it? the soap department or the in the hygiene department or something yeah and I've seen Maiden and tail at Winco too so I'll leave it at that a hey, Brad Kozlowski's in the two cards not Timmy Hill this time so yeah Austin Dillon the Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet nothing new except for the bet MGM logo here on the left side now out of all the bush schemes Kevin Harvick has ran in the last couple of years, this is by far one of the, well, I guess you can say it's one of the most dirtiest paint schemes that I've ever seen. No pun intended, but that's what it looks like. It seems like every now and then when they go to a specific race, they always come up with some creative, well... I've said it already, but um, Harvick, Bushbeer, and the folks at folks at Bushbeer and Haas, they always come up with a creative paint scheme. Well, for Sunday, they sure did. I do like the detail. Makes the car look like it's all muddy and all that. Or it could just be one of those cars where it's blue, but then it's got mud splatter all over it. I gotta admit, that's a really cool design. And... It, there is a bush can on the side here next to the car number and the hashtag, which is buried, which has a pile of dirt around the bottom. I think that looks pretty creative. I like that. Yeah, I'll say, um, I, I'll give Kevin Harvick some credit here. The paint scheme's not that bad after all. Um, I hope I... I need, you know, I need to get more bush beer die cast, not the drink, just the die cast. And the reason why I don't, you know, the thing is, for those who watch my, who see my die cast reviews, sorry if I haven't been getting a lot of Harvick die cast. It's because most of his schemes have the um, plastic base. Well, I know they do for a reason, but still, though, I hope to get more in the future. But anyways, yeah. Overall, I do like the scheme. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. 
Hey, Kyle Larson's got a new sponsor on the card. It's Freightliner. I gotta say, this is a very simple paint scheme. You got most of the cars black. You got a light bluish car number. And you got some gray streaks here along the side. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, I mean, Eric... What's his name? I think Eric Jones ran a Freightliner scheme during his time at Gibbs, or was it Matt Kansas? Either one, but it was like a simple white scheme with a black car number. That one looked pretty cool. They could have gone with that, but this, it's okay. It's the Nation Guard paint scheme, but with the colors all, with all of its colors altered. So yeah, but I see the theme that they're going with for... So yeah, it's a decent pace scheme. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. They could have done more, but it is what it is. Anyways, here's Ryan Newman's Cold Cuts car. Corey LaJoy promoting the truck race at Knoxville. Nice. Tyler Reddick rocking his MGM scheme. My boy Chase Elliott still rocking that Napa scheme. And also, I noticed during practice for cup and trucks that they had like a big rectangle thing covering the um grill i get it why they cover it it's to protect the um grill from getting any dirt into it so yeah it's a cool initiative there amarola with the smithfield scheme denny hamlin rocking that fedex a hey, last sunday's winner rocking the advanced auto parts colors chase briscoe rocking the high point scheme Chris Busher, Kyle Bush, MTJ rocking the um the auto owners insurance scheme looks nice. Christopher Bell with that those Irwin Tools colors. Matt De Benedetto in the Quaker State Ford Mustang. Logano with those Shell Penzoil colors. Bubba Wallace in the DoorDash scheme. William Byron with the Liberty University colors. Hey, here's the next new paint scheme on this list. It's Ryan Priest in the number 37 Bush Beans paint scheme. And I gotta admit, they got creative with this one. I guess this thing here, I know it's shaped like a bean, but it's supposed to, I assume, to depict the sun. So, I guess that's what the case is. And it's all multicolored. It's got blue, yellow, red, and all that. So, overall, not too terribly bad. I like the outline, the number. And for the back here on Kroger, I see a bunch of animated characters here. Looks nice. I assume if I see Kroger commercial, this is what I'm going to see. A bunch of animated characters like, like these four here. Um, you got some a little bit of red here on the front. Overall, this is a pretty creative paint scheme. I like where Bush Beans is going with it. Besides, it needs an update from the brown one anyway. I mean, I didn't really hate the brown one. It just, was just an underrated paint scheme. Just, just, it was underrated in a way where it just was, I just wasn't, well, I just wasn't feeling it. So, yeah. Yeah, Colt. Up next, so we got Cole Custer in the 41 Haas Tooling Ford Mustang, nice. Eric Jones rocking the Food City, the Tide Food City Chevrolet Camaro. Ricky Stenhouse in his typical Kroger scheme, not surprised. Jimmy Jump, I mean, sorry, Alex Bowman rocking those ally colors. Hey, here's another new one. Stuart Friesen in the number 77 Hallmark International Chevrolet Camaro. It's basically his paint scheme from the truck series, but on a cup car and with a different number. So, not going to say much. But I do like the paint scheme. Not too bad. I wish him the best in the truck and the cup race as the same thing for his wife, Jessica. So, got to give... Got to wish them the best of luck. Hey, it's been a while since we've seen Ty Dillon in the 96 Gaunt Brothers scheme. It's been a while since we've seen Gaunt Brothers in general. Um, 
as we already know they're on a part-time schedule so not surprised there um i guess this is a combo of both toyota of the toyota scheme and the bass pro shop scheme over i think this is a really cool sponsor combination i mean it doesn't hurt to have two primary sponsors on the car at the same time i mean they got bass pro shop here could be on the hood i don't know but it could be toyota certified vehicle on the hood instead but i like where they're going half of it's black while the middle part's white and you got red here on the bottom and i like the rainbowish colors but without the green and blue so overall not too terribly bad i'll give them the folks at gun brothers racing a pass on this so overall decent scheme red I don't know, red rims would have gone good with this, I guess. I don't know. You know what, I think red would do, so, yeah. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next video for the Trucks series. And until then, have a good one, and stay safe, everybody. Alright, bye-bye.